Hey everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. My name is Baron Collins Hill, and this is another Mando Lessons Masterclass, where I let my friends and musical heroes come on the channel here and instill some great musical mandolin knowledge to you all. This week we have none other than Tim May. I actually first met Tim through the world of tenor guitar. He comes out and teaches at the Tenor Guitar Gathering in uh, Oregon. Got to hang out with him last year and pick some tunes. Super great guy. And he is actually joined by Steve Smith and they're gonna be talking about playing together as a duo. They're great collaborators, make a really great sound together and I can't wait for you to hear such important information as how to play music with other people from some masters of the craft. I'm going to put a bunch of links in the description where you can keep up with Tim and Steve. So don't forget to check those out. But without further ado, I'm just going to hand it over to Tim and Steve, and they're going to do some playing for you and also talk about what it means to play music with other people, talk about some harmonies and arrangement. It's a really great lesson. I can't wait for you to see it. Here we go. All right, here we go. All righty. Howdy, folks. Tim May here along with Steve Smith. Thanks to Baron for having us on the uh, Mandolin Masterclass. So we're going to play a couple of tunes for you first, and then we'll talk a little bit about some uh, how, uh, how to go about harmonizing and playing duet stuff. What's the name of these All right. tunes? We'll start with a pair of tunes I wrote. They're sort of a new old-time style. The first one's called the Swayback Horse, and the second's called Buzzard on a Fence Post. They go tonight just like this. One, two, one, two. Talk about chore choreography of the head nod next time, but we don't have time for that now. <laughs> so, what do you think about harmonizing that first tune there? Well, the first tune, uh, Sway Back Horse, really doing a parallel harmony. That's simply those starting with the next chord tone or scale tone up. So, if you've got an A, you take the arpeggio and you just work it up like that, play the identical rhythm, and you get what's known as a parallel harmony. Um, the second tune, um, mm -hmm is really an A minor, so you got to tune in, in basically A major that goes to A minor. So uh, if you think of the A minor as being the relative minor of C, you sort of start there, think C scale, but you're going to start on an A note or you're going to think in those kind of terms. And so you would harmonize, you're kind of looking for the top of each measure, um, looking at the chord changes for each top, top of each measure. And so if you had A, then you'd harmonize that with C, right? So if you had a line... You're starting with A, you're harmonizing C, basically working out of the C scale. So without getting too deep in the weeds, what you would do in this situation is you're looking at harmonizing a minor. The only thing you got to look out for a couple of things um, is if you're playing minor pentatonic, you're playing five notes. And then we call it minor blues. And we add that, um, the, the flat five. So... You're sort of harmonizing along those lines too. And then the only other wrinkle with minor stuff is a lot of times you're gonna have a note that will go out of the scale because it's gonna go to an E chord in this case. You have an A minor chord that goes to the five chord E. And so you're gonna have an F, uh, a G sharp that's gonna pop up in your life all the time when you do this. So you, when it goes to E, you gotta come out of that idea of the C scale um, and, and add that, that G, uh, sharp. G sharp. Yeah. yeah. So that's just a quick overview you know, um, that's the, the basic version of it because we can really go into a lot of stuff. One way that you could get more information would be to come to a camp. 
called the Southwest Mandolin Camp. It's every October in Kingston, New Mexico. This year it's going to be October 24th through 27th, 2024. Our instructors will be Nate Lee, Tim May, myself, Isaac Eicher, Marla Fibish, and Casey Groves. You can find out more about that at www.dna, like your DNA, dnamusiccamp.com. That's www.dnamusiccamp.com. And that is a recurring camp, so if this runs past the that particular date, it's a recurring thing every October. Basically. Yes, and it's our, it's our fifth year. It's our fifth year, and uh, COVID put us down like it did everybody, but we're back at it and having a great time, and it's a beautiful location, great food. It is. Uh, you're up in a national forest. It's a really wonderful place at the, at the Black Range Lodge in Kingston, New Mexico. Look us up. So our uh, the website where you would find information is, is at Desert Night. That's DNA Music yeah. Camp. Now, we've got a new album out, too. It just happens to be we've got a new all-instrumental album out. We've been wanting to do one for a while. We've put three other albums out. Now we've got an all-instrumental album out with the original works, and it's called The Hillsboro Hay Incident. And you can get it at our webpage, www.desertnight.com, and you can also get it. Uh, it's available at bandcamp.com, Tim May and Steve Smith. And it's a lot of fun. We've got mandolin duos, octave mandolin. We've got uh, some great grass on there with uh, Tony Trisco on five-string banjo and Shad Cobb on fiddle. Also, the great Nick Coventry. We've got some Latin jazz pieces on there, some great swing. So uh, stop by and check it out and uh, be the first on your block to have one. Uh, I wanted to, uh, Baron wanted us to talk about, too, just a little bit about our <laughs> instruments. This is one that, uh, that I built. It's an A mandolin, um, red spruce top. Um, parallel bracing that I finished uh, a few months ago. So I, I do build a few of these and I'm really liking it a lot. And what you got there? I'm using an Ellis F5 and um, I've been using Ellis F5s now, L Ellis Mandolin since 2008. Um, you know, um, I like to say that my um, my other car is a Lloyd Lore 1924, but it I really is. prefer this over the Lloyd Lores. And, um, and um, I'm just so, there's the playability, the tone, and the flawless workmanship. You know, Ellis mandolins, they're, you know, that's it for me. I've, I've found what I need. All right. I think that's it for now. Um, I know this has been pretty kind of whirlwind kind of situation, but we just want to introduce what we got to you, and hopefully we'll see you soon somewhere. Look us up. Thanks a lot. I see. All right. Okay. <clears throat>